Hello guys and welcome back to another one with us, The Review Bros, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Super Stack by Broly Labs, containing their Rebuild Protein, their Ascend Pre-Workout, and their Conquer BCAAs. Is it going to be the stack for you? Stay tuned as we go through all those usuals, taste, price, label, effects. Let's go. Okay, let's move into that taste and mixability segment. So I've already mixed up all three into two glasses and a shaker for the protein, obviously. So I'll be going through all of those, what our impressions are, what do we think of the flavors, what flavors do they come in? So I've had to write it down, because obviously it's three different products. They each come in their own three flavors. So the Ascend pre-workout comes in Cola Cube, which is the flavor we've got for the review, Blue Raz and Fresh Orange. Probably would have gone for Cola Cube, so you know, can't be too sad about that. The BCAAs, we have got the Blackberry Burst, no, black currant Burst flavour, I do say. Also comes in Fruit Punch and Green Apple. And then finishing off, we've got the Rebuild Protein. We've got the Strawberry flavour. Also comes in Vanilla Ice Cream and Chocolate Brownie. Now, I'll be honest, I probably would have gone for the Chocolate Brownie one if I had the choice on the protein. But anyway, let's see how the Strawberry one goes for the, sakes, uh, for the purposes of today's review. So if I start with the protein, obviously I've used all of these before, but for the sake of the camera, I'm gonna to try to pretend it's my first time. All right, let's go. Strawberry flavor, protein going down. Mmm, that's nice. That is nice. Considering I'm not really a massive fan of strawberry flavor proteins, neither is Aaron, they've actually done really well. It's a, it's a good strawberry. There's no horrible undertones, no chalkiness, no goopiness. It's mixed fine. It's got a nice texture to it. So yeah, as the strawberry proteins go, I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 as strawberries go, you know, um, considering, like I said, I'm not a strawberry fan, but trying to leave that behind and think big picture, eight out of 10 as strawberries go. So definitely on the, on the better end of strawberry flavoring systems. And then moving into the Ascend pre-workout, like I said, Cola Cube flavour, so let's give that a roll, already mixed that up. Got a bit of froth action at the top, did take a good old, you know, walloping stirring to get it mixed up. There's some tiny little bits at the bottom, but literally, like I always say, nothing we're not used to seeing, so it shouldn't be too bad, but let's give it a try. Tastes just like those, um, those fizzy Cola sweets blended up, which, you know, if you're a fan of them, you're going to love this because it tastes, like I said, just like it. Yeah, it's really got um, a sour kick to it. Jeez. But nice, you know, like I said, it really does taste like you've just blended up a bunch of those fizzy um, cola bottle sweets into some water and then you're down there. So I really like that. I'm actually going to give it a 9 out of 10. That's a nice, unique flavour. Enjoyable, 9 out of 10. And then last but not least, the Conquer BCAAs. We've got the Blackcurrant Burst flavour. So again, already mixed it up. There's less froth action with the BCAAs, and there's a, again a few little bits of the bottom, but nothing you know we're not used to seeing, like I say. So let's give this one a go. And I'm not actually a massive fan of blackcurrant, if I'm being totally honest. So um, this will probably be the biggest struggle. But as blackcurrants go, it's not a bad one either. I'll probably give this a seven out of ten. Like it's above average, but. It's probably not the flavour I'd opt for. I'd have definitely gone for one of the other ones. But having said that, 7 out of 10. Like, it's it's not bad at all. It does taste like blackcurrant. So this Broly Lab stack would normally cost you £84. But because we've got a 40% discount code, which is Bros40, knocks it down to £50.40. £40. So you're going to get the protein. You're going to get the uh, pre-workout. And you're going to get the BCAs. And I do believe you get a shaker as well, but I haven't got that to hand at the minute. But you can see that in the picture we'll put up on the screen anyway. So, yeah, it's it's nice. And for £50, it makes it much more respectable because that actually brings the price to about £16.80 per, per item, which isn't bad when you think about it. It's really not bad. So you get 32 servings in the pre-workout, 32 servings in the protein, and you get 50 servings in the uh, BCAs. And if you do the maths, it works out as with a pre-workout, if you divide it by the serving amount, it comes to 50p a serving, which is actually a 10 out of 10 on our pre-workout price scale. So very well priced, but it's gonna be that classic question, you know, what are you getting for that money? How is it so cheap? 
We'll go through the label section right now. Okay, let's go through the pre-workout label up first. So it is a 15 gram scoop, which ain't bad, you know, for pre-workout standards these days. Uh, like I said, 32 servings per the tub. And first up, we have got alpha keto glutarate, which I'm going to assume is arginine alpha keto glutarate, two grams, decent dose. That's uh, the sort of arginine that's going to help with pumps, contractions, blood flow. Like to see it. it's a bit of a dated ingredient, but you know we have okay results with it. Moving down, citrulline malate, two grams, really bad dose, guys. You know we don't even know the ratio. Is it one to one, two to one? Who knows? Either way, it's just not going to cut it, is it? It's really not going to cut it. You're going to get minimal effect from that, but it should boost up your NO levels in the bloodstream, helping with uh, blood flow and pumps. But like I said, at that dose, I don't know that it will. And then into L-leucine, which is a, an amino acid, as you guys know. It's one that helps with um, build, the building blocks of protein. It's going to help with recovery, protein synthesis, building muscle. Is it really any use on its own in a pre-workout or with another one coming up? I'll say the same for L-isoleucine, L actually, at a gram. Um, and L-valine, sorry, I just spotted that at a gram as well. So... Is it really any use having the having them in there? Probably not. We've always said this, but you know you've got them if you want if you want them. Um, we've got beta aniline in there at 1.5 grams, which is not great because we like to see 3.2 grams. So that's less than half as much as we'd want to see. So you might not even get the tingly sensations, which we'll cover that in the effects section whether you do or not. Um, so yeah, that's that should help with the endurance when it builds up in the system and the tingly sensation. Then we have got deaspartic acid at one gram, kind of a low dose for deaspartic acid. Um, normally you like to see at least a couple of grams for this for this uh, ingredient. But that's that one that helps you boost in your testosterone levels. Um, you know, it's been shown to in, in some studies to do that if you're a, an inactive male and, um, and you're not weight training. You know, there's lots of ifs, buts and maybes. It's proven to be not very effective. I think I covered all of this in a previous review of it, in another product that had it, but yeah, we, we, you know, we don't really like it that much. And does it belong in a pre-workout? Again, probably not. So we're looking at quite a few ingredients here that aren't necessary. And um, the ones that are, that are in here that are that would be necessary seem to be underdosed. So it's, it's not off to a great start, is it? Then we move down into taurine at 500 milligrams. I'd like to see at least double for that, but that's that jack of all trades amino that helps with uh, cognition, energy production from the body and uh, hydration and pumps. Um, but like I say, 500 milligrams is a lower dose. You know, it's still gonna have some effect, but we'd like to see at least a gram, really. Then we've got caffeine at 200 milligrams, which is just regular caffeine, no anhydrous. Um, so it's gonna be the equivalent of roughly two cups of coffee, definitely lower than today's average. Probably average is around three, 350 these days, I would say. So yeah, it's gonna be enough to give you a kick, don't get me wrong, probably a little bit more than an, an energy drink, maybe, but nothing that's gonna blow your head off, and that is the only stimulant in here. So. Yeah, we are talking quite minimal label for the pre-workout, guys. Quite underdosed. In my honest opinion, you know, 50p a serving, 32 servings. Realistically, you'd want to double that scoop size and bring it down to 16 servings and double up on those dosages to make them clinical or close to clinical, should we say. I, I actually think two scoops, it'd be respectable because then you're getting four grams citrulline malate, 400 caffeine, a gram taurine, um, two grams deaspartic acid, for whatever that's worth. Um, and then obviously the beta aniline comes up to three grams, so you get the tingle. So that would be my honest use of this product if I was someone that wanted to maximize it. And a pound of scoop still isn't too shocking, is it? So that's the pre-workout label. Um, definitely, you know, not the best, but we'll leave that there for now. Get, get more into that later. Then we've got their protein, which is a massive scoop, I will say. It's 70 grams. So like almost like taking a bloody meal in. And this is 32 servings as well. So we have got 302 calories per scoop, which yes, is pretty much like you're having a meal. Freaking hell. That's probably three times as many calories as a, as a typical like protein that you'd have, a lean protein, should we say. Uh, then we've got 6.9 grams of fat, so reasonably high in fat for a protein. Um, then we have got 28 grams of carbs, which is very high for a protein, of which sugar's 14 grams. Protein is 32 grams, so that is admittedly good, but then again, when you rate, when you do the ratio up against the scoop size, it's not that good, is it? But you're still getting 32 grams, which is probably like five, six grams more than average in, in proteins these days. Um, and then you've got some salt in there as well. So not a lean protein, 
well, you know, we can all see that it's not. It's going to be one that's I would almost say is a is a more like a bulking protein, uh, more like a weight gainer. So it's obviously not going to be ideal for someone who's looking to stay trim to lose weight to take a protein that's um, that's got low fat, low carbs. It's just not going to cut it, is it? So this is going to be for someone that actually wants to maximize their calorie intake and just get a bunch of carbs and fat and protein in them. What I would, what I have done, and what I'd suggest for people that want to pick this up. Um, but want to also get more for your money and lean it down a little bit is do a half scoop to bring it to 35 grams and then obviously admittedly you're getting 16 grams of protein instead of 32 but then you bring the um, the fats down to like three three and a half and the carbs down to like 14 so it's much more reasonable isn't it and 150 calories um, per the shake so half a scoop is something to consider on that on that one and then the BCAAs, um, which is 10 grams, two scoops to get that, 50 servings, which is nice. But then again, you're also only getting the same branch chain amino acids that were in the pre-workout. So that's the L-leucine, L-isoleucine and L-valine at 3.4, 1.7 and 1.7 grams respectively. They're not much use on their own. You need the full spectrum EAAs really to get any sort of benefit from um, from, from even in taking an, an EAA type supplement. So. I would say this is more just going to be for flavour in your drink. You know, if you struggle to drink regular plain old water and you need something to flavour it just so you drink more and in turn that improves your hydration, maybe this would be beneficial to you. Yeah, it's not a great label. There's no uh, there's no two ways about it. I mean, just having free branch chain amino acids isn't really going to do much at all, apart from, like I say, flavour your water. So there's your labels, guys. They are definitely beginner style labels. You know, they're not what we would call high end or premium, but then again, you're not paying much for it either. So do with that what you will. And now I will move into the real world effects. How did I find each and every one of these products? Um, who do I think it's for? Let's go. Okay, so effects time with uh, with the super stack. So first up, let's start with the Ascend pre-workout. So as you guys know, I've been through all the label already. The only stimulant in here is at the caffeine. Um, and they do say you can't double up on the scoops. You know, like I said in the label section, in an ideal world, you'd take double, you'd double up on the scoops to bring it more close to clinical. It doesn't actually say that you can do that anywhere on here, not to my knowledge anyway. So, so yeah, if we're going by the labels like we always do, um, which I've used it several times on the basic amount, what they, what they, um, what they recommend, which is the free scoops to get the serving size, it feels like an energy drink. It does, there's no two ways about it. It feels like you've had a monster energy. You get some mild heating from the beta aniline at the 1.5 grams, no itching though, just a mild heating sensation. You get the bit of caffeine kick and, and focus that comes from that. And that really, really is it guys. So it's it's a real beginner level pre-workout. I'd only really recommend it to people that have never tried pre before and they're on a budget, they're new to training, they're new to gym. Perhaps they love Dragon Ball Z, I don't know then maybe pick it up but i couldn't recommend it to anyone other than that i just really couldn't you know neither could aaron so yeah like i said that's all you really get from it we're not talking much in the way of pumps they were minimal they were minimal but obviously there's not much in there for pumps either and focus was you know a little bit below average as well so it is a below average pre-workout guys i'm gonna give it a three out of ten that, you know, it's as simple as that. There's not much more to say on it. There's no negatives though either. So it doesn't upset your stomach. It doesn't take away from your training. It just doesn't add much to it either. It's an it's equivalent of an energy drink, like I say. So if it sounds right for you, as the person I've described, maybe give it a look. But apart from that, you know, there's just so much else on the market that you can look at that that will do more for you. What I will say though, at this at this stage in the review, Broly Labs are a new company. They have said that this is their very beginner level stack that they're just introducing. They are planning on bringing out more high-end stuff down the line, so we're excited to see that. Anyway, let's move down onto their um, BCAAs, their Conquer BCAAs. I think I already really said everything that needs to be said in the label section about these. You know, it's not much use just having a few branch chain amino acids in there. You really want the full spectrum EAAs in there to actually get any kind of benefit. Not that EAAs or BCAAs are that, are that important anyway, but yeah. Like I said, if you're someone that struggles to drink regular old spring water and uh, you want to flavour it up a little bit just so you drink more and then stay more hydrated that way, then, you know, for the price, maybe pick this up as part of a stack or on its own, I don't know. 
The flavours were good, you know, the one we had wasn't bad, 7 out of 10 I think I gave it. The other two do look better, so I would choose one of them if I had the honest choice myself. But yeah, what more can I say on that? It's, it's not a good BCAA as, as they go. So again, this is below average. We don't really score BS, BCAAs. That, I mean, how can you really score a BCAA product? But yeah, it's, it's below average. It's not what I would call a good BCAA or intra sort of um, supplement. So yeah, leave that as it is. And then rounding off with their Rebuild Protein, this big bastard thing. So um, I think I kind of brushed on this in the label as well, really. So I, I did enjoy this. Um, I've used it a few times. Don't get me wrong, I haven't ran with it for weeks on end. But what I would say, it tastes good. You know, it's, it blends in fine with your oats or mixing in with other bits and pieces, any, anything else, you know, your cream of rice, whatever it may be. It's fine. There's no issues there. No mixability issues with it. It's, it's kind of a boring protein, you know, in my opinion. I mean, the, the flavours are quite boring as well, really. Strawberry, vanilla, chocolate. They're not, um, they're not as exciting as some of the other companies that are bringing out all these extravagant flavouring systems. But for a strawberry, it wasn't bad. I, what did I give it? An 8 out of 10, I believe. So, yeah, it's not bad on the flavour front. Um, like I said, I would recommend this to absolute beginners to the gym that have just started out. Ectomorph, skinny guys that just want to put on size, they don't care about having lean protein. You know, you want, you know, you welcome extra carbs, extra fats, extra protein, extra calories into your body. You, you know, you can chuck this on top of your post-workout meal for an extra easy 300 calories, boom, like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not clean calories, but like I said, if you're one of these skinny guys like me and Aaron once were, and you want to put on size at any cost, this may be the one for you. So again, that's something to consider on the protein. So guys, I think I've wrapped it all up. So just in summary, a very um, low level beginner stack products in general. I would only recommend it to you if you was an absolute newbie beginner gym goer that you perhaps like Dragon Ball Z and you're on a real tight budget and you know you want to get free supplements for the price of one almost effectively really for £50 for, the, for that lot you'd almost pay 50 for a, a single pre-workout or a single protein these days or coming on to that anyway so yeah that, that's the only people I would recommend it to not not intermediate not advanced um, not elite level athletes, no one else. Um, I, you know, what more can I say, guys? But let us know your thoughts down in the comment section. What do you think of these? What do you think of the market? What do you think of the labels? What do you think of the effects? Is it something you'd pick up? Do you know any friends that are just starting out in the gym that might want to pick up this? You know, let us know your thoughts on all of it. And as always, stay stimmed. I'm honest and broken, I flow like the ocean I feel you were chosen to fix me, I'm broken My heart that you've stolen, ayy Stay with me, play with me, lay with me Hate to see when you